Hi guys, and welcome to Raising Painted Ladies. <laughs> Perfect. 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 Might seem like, uh, oh, might seem like they're easy now, but it has been a long time getting here, so let's get into it. Get on. Okay. I had my momager over here reach out to a lovely company, Nature's Gift. Nature's Gift decided we were worthy of some caterpillars. We got painted ladies, baby. And we've never done these. We've never done painted ladies. <clears throat> girl, girl. If you guys have seen our other Raising Butterfly videos, you know that we always get our caterpillars from outside in our garden or just finding them naturally. Uh, but this is the first time that a company uh, that sells butterfly raising kits wanted to send us some caterpillars. Okay, so it's been a couple of days and I took the lids off of the caterpillars cups because I was like, they w don't they want to explore? They're getting big. And yeah, apparently they, they don't. They do not want to explore at all. So they are getting very, very large though very large but yeah i don't understand why um not a single one has left this cup they get like right up here like they're gonna and then they just crawl back down so i'm gonna put the lids back on them though because if they're not gonna come out of the cup they need the lids on them to form their chrysalis on so yeah i'm just gonna put those back on there you go little buddies you freaks so yeah, um, basically just leave them, just leave them like they are. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah, definitely just leave them how they are because now I cracked the cup. Great. And this cup of them are a little bit smaller, which is weird. But yeah, there they are. See, these guys are a little bit bigger than them. I don't know why. Hmm. got our first chrysalis which has fallen from the top and then we've got two more guys getting ready to form theirs Okay, so because uh, these guys are uh, growing and changing a bit faster than I expected, um, everyone's in a chrysalis now. I tried to get footage of them like going into a chrysalis, but um, it, it took, I had the camera propped up for hours and it just didn't happen. So hopefully I can get footage of them emerging. So the only problem here is there's one chrysalis that has fallen on either on, on either cup, so we shall see what happens with that. And there's so much like webbing in here. Uh, I'm afraid it's gonna pull them all down if I'm not careful. This is why I needed mom to film. Oh, this guy's going crazy. Can you see him? He does not like being moved. There's some species of like butterflies and stuff that will wiggle as a defense mechanism in their chrysalis. Oh, yep, they're all slowly starting to do it. I'm sorry. Ooh, I don't want to drop this guy. Okay, okay, so far so good, so far so good. Okay, um, 
I don't want to pull the net webbing whatever too much because I don't want them to drop. Okay, so now I'm going to try and uh, put them pretty low hanging in here, which is difficult because it only opens from the top. again. Oh, this is a little tricky. Okay, I got it. Boom. I think. Ta-da! I think that's what you do. <laughs> now this cup has a chrysalis that's completely on the bottom. It was the first one that went into a chrysalis and like as soon as he formed, he dropped right to the bottom. I think it was because there was still so many caterpillars in here, but... Alright, let me find the other clip. Here it is. So I'm thinking these guys might be a little easier to move, and then I gotta figure out what to do with that one on the ground. <laughs> a little less messy. Nice, that's better. <laughs> so I'll try and hang these guys on the other side. So you weave it through once. Weave it back through again if you can get it. And then clip. Yay! So it doesn't look like he has really anything for me to like hang him from. Like when I move a monarch chrysalis um, in, in monarch videos, um, I tie a dental floss around the top of the chrysalis where it creates how it's hanging. Um, but this guy, I don't. I don't know, so let me try and wiggle them out, I guess. I don't want to touch him because I know he's going to twitch. He is this little dropper. Come here, buddy. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. I don't want to risk hanging him from that little notch and like messing it up when he tries to come out. So I think I'm just going to rest him on the bottom. Because too, um, I mean there's some species of chrysalis that do completely fine if they're laying flat. So he gets his own little spot right there. And now... I think I'm supposed to mist the chrysalis every once in a while, but other than that, we're just waiting for butterflies now. So the day has come that um, we th we thought, I, th I thought it had been 10 days. It says that they take about 10 days in the chrysalis. Um, so yeah, I thought we were going to have at least one butterfly today. But one of the chrysalis is changing color very strangely. The chrysalis are really pretty, but um, it said that like the monarch ones that they turn black before the butterfly comes out, um, this one's been black and red for like a day now, for like a whole day now. So I don't know, let me show you. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what's really up with that. Maybe we'll have some butterflies tomorrow. Okie dokie, so we got one and two. How many more today? Wow, they are pretty though. They are pretty.
so this is getting actually really ridiculous really quick because this is a terrible design. Um, why you would have to make it so that you have to reach all the way down here to get a butterfly that's fallen because of all of how this is designed is beyond me. I can't see him. So a lot started happening fast here, and I was not uh, thinking to uh, elaborate any of it on film, so here's a good old voiceover. All of the butterflies started soon having issues because they would come out and all the chrysalis were on top of each other, so they would uh, have to crawl on another one because these guys shake as their defense mechanism. The butterflies would start falling, and they wouldn't be able to get up and get themselves up to hang to pump their wings. Um, so I started having to go in and picking up all the butterflies, uh, but then the issue arose with the enclosure that there was no way for them to hang um, horizontally. So then I realized I had to move them over to Tatum's puppy enclosure where I could uh, let them hang from the top because I couldn't find my other butterfly enclosures at the moment. And then we had this poor, poor, unfortunate soul who just literally could not get himself out of the chrysalis. I've seen this happen a few times before, like with monarchs, but it's usually because of a parasite or something. Um, <clears throat> so I tried to help little buddy out, but uh, he... Uh. Come on out, buddy. I'll pull you out. Let's go. Let's go. Come on, buddy. Like the chrysalis just isn't coming off his wings. I think I got you, buddy. Just be patient. There we go. Oh dear. Trying to separate the, the chrysalis. There you go, buddy. You got another leg out. There we go. Oh, oh. did we just... Wait, did I just take part of your leg off there? Uh-oh. We're breaking you out of here, buddy. I don't think it's going to happen, buddy. Oh, I don't know. Here we go. No, he didn't finish forming fully, buddy. So I'm guessing the same thing's gonna happen with this one. So now I'm going to take all the butterflies that are ready to go in here and put them in here and um, just keep all the chrysalis in here until everyone's out. Okay, so let's see if we can safely get everyone over. I think I'll open this one first. Don't fly away. Don't fly away, don't fly away, don't fly away. I'm gonna go right on in there. And another one. This one has a name already. Its name is, oh, Pirate, I got your wings all over me. This one's Pirate because um, as soon as he came out, he fell and broke a leg. So he has a peg leg. He's missing, he's got a little nub right there on the front leg. So that's Pirate. So we've got six in here, one chrysalis making it seven. Unfortunately, we've got number eight. I tried everything after many, 
mental breakdowns trying to save number eight. Um, he just would not hang himself to dry. Um, he just like remained too heavy to move and such. And so after a while, I just had to stop trying to help him and uh, he died. So there's three chrysalis left. That makes 11. I don't know, it's too early. My math isn't right. Anyways, we've got um, three chrysalis left and one butterfly that is the one that had trouble coming out of the chrysalis. And so I had to like break the chrysalis off of him and then he still couldn't finish the job. So I just took the like butt of his chrysalis off of here. You gonna crawl, buddy? Come here, buddy. He's still alive. He's still really trying to fight. But I think I'm gonna have to make the call to put him out of his misery. You can see his little tongue there, his little proboscis. It doesn't, or maybe he has. I'm gonna have to check, but it doesn't look like he's fused his little tongue there, meaning he won't be able to eat. Um, and if he's not able to eat, he's just going to die. So, oh, see some of the chrysalis on his wings and on his booty. And he's trying. But so far we've got half a dozen. Originally my plan was I was gonna try and feed half the butterflies that came out um, sugar water and the other half honey water and see like how it affects them differently, see which one of them lives longer, da 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 da. But now we've had <laughs> we've had our handful of issues. Um, there's still three that are yet to come out of the chrysalis and, and some that uh, like pirate that have some issues so I don't know that that study would be <laughs> fully uh, accurate so I'm just gonna give them honey water because that's my choice <laughs> just use a little bit of warm water and the honey and make sure it's all mixed up like that so that there's no clumpies and this is the first time I've used anything like this so now the cotton ball is supposed to soak it up, and I'll be able to drink from the cotton ball. Okay, soak it up. Now the mission to get this in here. <clears throat> Incoming! Watch out, everybody! Food! Go ahead now, eat it up. Mmm, smells delicious, don't it? Don't all rush at once. We got a drinker! Yeah, buddy! Look at him drinking! Yeah, buddy! Woo! Chug, 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 chug! Okay, so this guy was the only chrysalis that was left in here. But when he came out just now, uh, the chrysalis was still stuck on his wing, so I just pulled it off. But now he's got one bad wing and one normal wing um so i don't know i don't know what's gonna happen with that i don't know if that has to do with because the chrysalis was on the ground or if that was just what was gonna happen to our guy anyway but we'll see maybe he'll maybe he'll be able to straighten it out i was very worried that these guys were not gonna be as docile as the monarchs because at first they weren't but most butterflies aren't you kind of got to get them to like realize you're not trying to eat them and then they'll chill i think it was in my raising swallowtails video where i said um that a painted lady had flown into the kitchen i have since corrected myself that was a red admiral and when i had the red admiral i was like yeah these painted ladies are commonly known as like monarch lookalikes but the red admiral looked nothing like the monarch but now that we've got a painted lady, you can see um, the main similarities here are like the orange and black color, but the similarities I see are like the um, white dots on the black, like the white dots right there. I'd say that's probably the biggest similarity. Okie dokie, so we've got 10 in here now. It's 
hard to see unless I open it. There we go. We've got 10 in here now, including our little friend who had a hard time coming out of the chrysalis. And then I've got this remaining one out here because I'm not super confident that it's going to be coming out. That's the same one that I showed a few days ago that um, I said had been dark and red for a while now. So I think... Um, I think he just had trouble and didn't come out of the chrysalis, but I'm not going to get rid of it. Give it another day or so, um, but no big hopes. But so we've got, what have we got? So there's 10 in here, but we've got our one guy with one messed up wing who his wing still hasn't come around. And then we've got our... Our buddy down there who had trouble coming out. And then we've got Pirate. Pirate, where are you? Is that you? Is that you, Pirate? Nope, that's not Pirate. But so all in all, we had one that didn't come out of the chrysalis, one that just didn't make it in general, one that I had to help out of the chrysalis, and one with a messed up wing. So that leaves eight healthy butterflies remaining, I believe. Yeah, because there's 10 in there. So it's seven. Well, pirate's healthy. He's just, he's just pirate. I'm trying to come say hello? Hello. No, 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 no. You stay in there for now. I'm not sure if the one that I had to help out of the chrysalis is gonna, um, really make it much longer, but... So that makes nine. <laughs> and then we've got Gimpy with the one bad wing and we've got Pirate. So there's <laughs> seven normal butterflies. <laughs> this is a mess. See how many of them I can get to hang out with me while we wrap up this video. Okay, so I have two on my shirt, one flying around, one on the floor. So we've got four, I'm not gonna take any more out than that. Okay, so in conclusion, we did have a little bit of difficulty with these guys, but it was definitely worth it. Um, I do feel kind of bad that I can't let these guys go, but obviously there is snow on the ground right now so they will be spending their life with me especially pirate and all of our defective little friends personally um it, uh if i had to suggest cup caterpillars over finding them come here buddy raising these guys in a cup versus um getting them leaves outside was definitely easier but um yeah i definitely prefer caterpillars that um crawl around because these guys just stayed in the cup the whole time but they are fairly docile come here where'd you go buddy so yeah i don't know what else to say about these guys but they're super pretty. There isn't much way to tell um, their gender apart, like male versus female with these, whereas most other butterflies, it's kind of obvious. Okay, you just, you just wanna stay there? Okay, that's fine, all right, okay. I was talking with my brothers and we think unfortunately some of the complications might come from the fact that these guys are like farmed and we didn't find them naturally out in the wild uh, with their own like genetics and stuff they're probably a bit overbred yeah, just uh just super casual right guys just uh just hanging out right just yep sure <laughs> Welcome to my room where there's, if there's not butterflies, there's mantises. 
If there's not mantises, there's Tatums. <laughs> but yeah, I think, I think that's all I have for these guys for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this and want to see more, just casually butterfly flying around my bed. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this and want to see more, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. I think I'm going to go live with these guys on TikTok all this week. So if you have any questions, either leave them in the comments below or join me live on TikTok. And yeah, we'll see you guys <laughs> in the next video.